I've jumped back to InDesign again, and I just want to show you the swatches very quickly. This should again be a review. So if I'm making my gumballs, and I, I know I want to have a variety of gumballs, but I'm not set on the colors of the gumballs, it is best practices to use colors from the swatches panel or colors that are saved to the swatches panel. And you can see that as I click through my gumballs here, my, my blue one, the blue color activates on the swatches panel as a swatch that I'm using, but you can see that none of the colors highlight on the actual swatches panel. I haven't saved that color. I can save the color by selecting the object and then choosing new. And I can do that for all the colors in the design. So I can grab the purple color, it shows as the fill color, hit new, grab the pink color. Very quickly I'm going to make sure that I add all of the different colors in my design. Almost there. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. So now that I have selected a color and saved it, I could modify that color. So let's go back to the teal color here. If I decide that that's not a realistic gumball color and I want to change it, all I have to do is double click to modify the save swatch and it can be any type of swatch. It can be a gradient swatch that I want to modify, it can be a spot color swatch, it can be a process color swatch, it doesn't matter. And then you can change the color of the swatch and make it Maybe you want it to be these are all ugly colors. Let me get a better color. Maybe you want it to have more green to the teal color. You can see as I modify the swatch, the object that I had selected and then created the swatch from automatically changes. This is one of the huge benefits of using swatches. But can you see how the second blue or teal swatch did not change at the same time? That's the downfall of not using swatches properly. If I select both of these shapes and I say they should both be linked to that green blue color, if I modify the swatch, if I wanted it to be just a completely different color, maybe it's beige, everywhere I have used and linked my object to that color swatch will automatically change. And so the same thing happens if I try to change the pink color swatch. If I want the pink color swatch to be more orange, you can see that only this pink circle changed to be orange, not the pink circle in the background. And so make sure that you're selecting your objects and linking it to the color on the swatches panel. So this red is linked to the red color because it highlights. But the red circle on the left hand side, I need to relink that. Following these best practices allow for the modification of your design more easily in the future. I would even rename the swatches to go above and beyond. I would call these gumball purple and gumball pink in case somewhere in your poster you have another pink color that's for the logo or for a background image or a background shape.